even get less than that. So the best thing is to keep these large bills, $100 bills, and even in that, try to keep the newer ones. There is a difference in value, I'm telling you. There is a difference in value between the newer bills and the older bills too. So the older bills will give you few less reals than the newer bills. Number six, take a pouch with you. That will help you in two different ways. Number one, to tie your haram, to hold your haram. So it will be with a belt, a pouch with a belt, and you can, so it will hold the haram. And number two, you can put your valuables in it. Because that will be the safest way of keeping your valuable, valuables during your journeys and traveling over there, especially and especially during the days of Hajj in Mina Arafat Mustafa. So that will be the safest thing to use. You can get them from many different places. And the best thing maybe a dollar store. Yes, they do have them. And you get it for a dollar. Number seven. As you have a carry-on, when you go from here, of course, everyone will have a carry-on. In this carry-on, as you keep your things that you think that you would need, normally we keep a lot of stuff. Don't try to keep too many stuff that you'll have to just keep on carrying for nothing, for nothing. But make sure you keep at least one pair of clothes in it. I have seen people who arrive at the airport, get the airport, and they have lost their baggage. Now, they don't have no clothing. And to go right there to look for clothing and buying clothing is not that. I mean, it's still a hassle. So, the best thing is to keep at least one pair in our carry-ons. In our situation, let me just tell you one more thing is, and that is, you may not need this. I just remembered we may not need this because you will be wearing one pair as you leave from here and our ihram will be in our carry-on. Please, don't put your ihram in your check-in baggage. Make sure you don't want to do make that mistake. You want to keep your ihram in your carry-on because we will be putting the ihram on in Germany in transit. We will be arriving at Jeddah and then from there we want to go to Mecca. So therefore, we want to use the ihram before we arrive at Jeddah, before you can get, you have access to your baggage. So, keep the ihram with you in your carry-on. So of course, as we take the ihram on, uh, we'll put the ihram on, so then we will be putting that pair of cloth that we are wearing, we will be having in our carry-on and uh, that, is, that could be usable in case if we need it over there. As far as the carry-on, don't make it too heavy. We have seen situations where you can make it from here. From here to Germany, for example, or wherever your transit may be for people who are going from different flights. But when you arrive there and you are about to board the second flight, they may tell you, that the flight is overbooked and there is a lot of baggage in there so we can't have anything in the plane anymore give us your bag we will put it into the check-in baggage and now what happens is because yours was heavy they took everything from you all the things that you needed maybe medicine maybe clothes anything goes it's all gone so if you keep it light and small not too big then they will not take it away from you. But if they see the size of it being big, most probably they will take it away. And, of course, once they take it, then it will be just like a check-in baggage where you would get it only after you arrive over there at the airport. Maybe a little late before you need surgery, before that you would need some of the stuff that's in there. So, don't make it too heavy. Sometimes the weight. Don't make it, don't have it too big because Something, uh, they normally, not sometimes, they always, up to now my experience is they always see the size of it. And if it is big, they'll pull it away from me at the airport. It's not that they're not going to let you take it, but they will check it in. If they check it in from New York, your haram is gone. 
So you will be arriving there without a haram. So you better keep $120 ready to pay a dam. So, that's why I said keep it something that is very normal for the flights and is not too heavy, is not too big. Will be a good idea to keep it something that has wheels on it so that you can use it throughout your journey over there in Mina, Arafah, Muzdalifah, you can drive it. For some people who are used to, uh, what do you call it, this bags, uh, the backpacks. Maybe, that may be a very handy thing and very useful thing to have it with you because uh, you carry it there, your hands are free, and you can keep all of the stuff that you need when, uh, for, for during the day, especially during the days of Hajj, you can need things that you need, you may keep it in there. So that backpack comes very useful, inshallah, in that situation if anyone would like to carry that. As I said, keep your haram. And the slippers for haram also that you would wear during a haram, we will have to take them with us from here. I have Today I talked to uh, Brother Ibn Rahid about haram's. If he has some, he says he has, he's coming next week for our program here to give us all the information about the trip uh, from his side, his preparations and everything. So he will be here with us next week, inshallah. And he will bring the haram's. Uh, they have the ihram and they are selling it for $20. So we will have a ihram here next week if anyone would like to take it from him. And if you have your own, that's good, alhamdulillah. But if you need it and you are worrying where to get it from, inshallah, we will have that available to us next week. Slippers for ihram, I don't think he has it, so you have to look for it around here. And uh, those are the slippers, normal slippers that uh, the main requirement, this is only for men. The requirement is that it has to be a type of slipper that does not cover the bone on your foot here. So the bone that rises up in the middle of the foot, it should not, it should not cover that bone. So it should be below that. So uh, a slipper of that type would be good for haram. Sometimes uh, people ask that how about if it, is, uh, it has stitches on it and it's... Uh, that's fine. If the slipper, a slipper has the stitches on it or anything like this, it's fine. No, nothing wrong with that. As we leave from here, you know that the journey is going to be long. From here, we will inshallah go to JFK. We will have a good wait over there. Some hours and good hours over there. And then from there to uh, Germany, from there, and then there will be, we will be in transit for, I'm sure, many hours, which I don't know how many, but it will be, I think, many hours over there, and then from there to Jeddah, and then over there we will have a long wait before we get to our buses, then from there to Mecca, so it's a journey. And for that, Number one, make sure that you keep, everyone keeps that in mind that there will be a lot of sabr and a lot of time needed. That's fine. We left for the purpose of ibadah. As soon as we leave, that's all ibadah. So we are not in hurry to do anything, to get anywhere. We are already in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the point is, even in the path of Allah, you will need some food. So, make sure you keep some food with you. In your carry-on, keep some food with you. And don't forget your Imam. So, this is very important that yes, keep some food with you because it's difficult to find halal things on your way from standing from here all the way until you get to Makkah, not to Jeddah really. Until from here all the way to Makkah. It will be difficult to look for food. So, just keep that in mind and keeping that in mind, keep something with you. And keeping in mind that we will be, inshallah, in the good um, company of good people. So, uh, of course, inshallah, we'll be sharing. So, a little bit should be helpful for everyone, but we will be keeping in mind that we will be sharing, inshallah, with each other things that we have. So, keeping that in mind, inshallah, take your food with you.